out right there, baby. I mean, just dump in the reel. Oh, shark bottom, shark bottom. Look at that. Woohoo! Are you kidding me? You've got to be joking right now. Woohoo! Tell me when you see color. Alright guys, so today we're off to get bait like usual, but the only difference is we're actually going to be driving over to another country. To kind of reiterate what Stephanie is saying, we're headed over to the Bahamas to do some yellowfin tuna fishing. We're going to do that all in one day today. First thing we're going to do, if we can catch the baits, head to Bimini, check in, and then from Bimini we're going to be island hopping to Grand Bahama and we're gonna be staying on the west end. And this is kind of like an annual trip I guess we're gonna start doing now. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year we did the same exact trip with my dad. But gotta get going, gotta get some baits. Hope they're at where they've been because if we can get the live baits, that is going to be the key for today. Let's hammer down and let's see if we can catch them. They're filled. You saw them? Yeah, okay. loaded. All right, some we get some. It's gonna be hard because they're deep though, right? Yeah, it is. This is a Betts Murata 3 8 inch mesh 12 footer. We typically use a 10, but we're throwing the net in some deeper water. So therefore we want that bigger net with big weight to get it down to the bottom. Okay, neutral. You see them? Look at them, yeah, you got them. Open up the center live well. Yep. Nice. Got the live baits, thank God. Woohoo! Catching the pilchard this morning was a really big plus. We left the Florida Keys at about 9 a.m. Right now it's 10 o'clock, we're halfway there. So once we get there, the crossing should take us about two hours. And between Bimini and Grand Bahama, that's where these yellowfin tunas live. Seas are about one to two with the occasional three. Got about 10 knots of wind, and I would say this is actually a pretty fair crossing. So we have some pretty high hopes for today. So here we are, we just got into the Bahamas. The first thing we're gonna do is clear customs. Um, just so you guys are aware of like what we had to do before getting here. So we actually had to go ahead and get a PCR COVID test, then fill out a health visa. And here we are right now, we're about to clear customs and then get started with our entire trip. Hopefully catch some tunas. So we have officially docked up here at Bimini Big Game Club here in Bimini, Bahamas. We have all of our paperwork ready to go. So all I have to do is just hop off the dock, hand in all my paperwork, and we're good to go. I'm Xiaomi Xiaomi from Bimini, Bahamas, and I approve this message. <laughs> Looking for you guys to come over, bro. It's beautiful over here. <laughs> Well, we're off to a great start. We came here to catch some tuna. 
and we're catching a variety of species of tuna. That's right. So <laughs> far, so good. We're working our way up the ranks. Hopefully, we get some good karma here. See you later, dude. We're keeping the boat in gear right now, just so we can keep as much tension as possible on that line. Keep going. What's it look like? Oh, I got another black fin. Should we release him too? Yeah, let's release him. All right. There's an is pulling. That seems like a nicer fish. Where are the yellow fins at? Pick up your rod. Or is he down deep? He's deep. He's deep? There he is. Pick up your rod, walk forward towards the front of the boat. Keep coming. <gasps> is it? Yellow yeah! fin. <laughs> hey, not a big one, but that's your first oh yellow God, fin right there. Is. Good yeah. job. Woo. First yellow fin of the day. Let's get this uh, hook out before <laughs> something happens to us. All right. Go ahead. Please. Careful. Yeah. Woo. There you go, hold your fish right there. That's your first yellowfin. So this is officially my first yellowfin tuna. Mm -hmm. And I have literally been waiting a year for this. <laughs> and what's awesome too is like, we knew it was either something bigger or a yellowfin just by the way it took off compared to the other blackfin. So this is our first yellowfin first of the day. Not Woo! a big one, but hey, that's a start. So if you know how to use your electronics properly, the way we're fishing right now is basically foolproof. We're just trolling. I mean, we have these little lures we're dragging behind the boat and we're trolling around birds. And it's actually really easy to find these birds if you have the right electronics. We have a Garmin open array radar specifically on this boat and their bird mode is absolutely fantastic. And what we were doing is we were just driving around and we were scanning the radar for birds. Sure enough, we found some distortion right here on the radar screen, backed off the throttles, and then all of a sudden the bird just appeared. I mean, it's a tool that I absolutely suggest if you're gonna come out here and you're gonna do this yellowfin tuna fishing in the Bahamas. We've made it into the Northwest Province Channel is what they call it. And we're right between Bimini and Grand Bahama. But basically what we're doing is we have our live pilchards that we're just free lining out on our little bent butt conventionals right here. And we're just drifting. And the reason why we stopped here specifically is because there's some birds down that way. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to line ourselves up with the birds because what's happening right now is all these tunas are underneath the birds. The tunas are pushing up bait fish, and then when those bait fish get pushed up, they jump out and then the birds come down and they'll eat the bait fish. And it's very tricky because we can't get close to these birds. However, we want to cut them off at the same exact time. If we get too close to the birds, we're going to send those tunas right back down. They're going to get spooked. So it gets pretty strategic doing this. It gets very difficult, but the reward is so worth it. <laughs> Woo! That's what it's all about right there, baby. I mean, just dumping the reel. <laughs> so now that the fish isn't fighting, that's when you reel. Now he's resting. See, I was just resting. Now I'm gonna start pulling on him. I got a ways to go. That, that fish just dumped drag on me. This is no joke. Got the Key Largo custom rods right here. Got the conventional and spinning rods. We got these push button bent butts, which are key for these fish, man. I mean, fighting these fish on stand up tackle, you can do it, but fighting this fish out of the rod holder just makes things so much easier. I hope this isn't a shark, man. Oh, oh, my oh sharks on him, sharks on him. Come on, Clay. He's right here. Get a gap, somebody get a gap. Look at that. Woo <laughs> what do you think, baby? Woo! Woo! What a fish! Ever 
So I'm going to go ahead and just stick my finger on his artery and just like that he'll start to bleed. Hey Sean, got him. It's a nice, nicer one. Let's get a gap, let's get a gap. <laughs> Good job dad. Woo! We're killing him. Look at that. Shark is right underneath the boat guys. Let's try to get a triple. And we maybe work around the shark. Oh, triple! Underneath you. Go behind me, oh, no. go behind me, go behind me. Oh, no. oh, no. Okay, ready, go. There you go, Dad, go over top. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo. How about that, huh? Oh my God, this one's big. The shark. Oh, right here, look at him, look at the shark. Look at that, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Not today, Mr. Shark, not today. That's how you gotta do it, gotta keep one in the water, keep the shark distracted. Woo. Flip him in, Dad, just flip him in. There we go. Oh, he's got me, he's got keep me. Keep it, keep he's it. He's got me, look at it. He's got it. Look at that. He ain't letting go. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this shark distracted. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at that. You've gotta be joking right now. Quiet, I got like a really big one. You got a nice one, 70. No, 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 no. Oh let gosh. him run, let him run. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Look at Keep those Keep that bend. Keep that bend. I may have a swordfish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a nice black fin or a nice yellow fin. So that's actually one of our swordfish rods right there. Put the Penn International on there. Stephanie's got a big one. I'm not worried about the line at this moment. I'm just worried about a shark. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. Tell me when you see color. There's so much more to go. Got leader? Nice yellow fin. You got the gaff, Dad? Nice yellow fin. Get him in the head. Get him in the head, don't let go. Help him out, Stephanie. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. Get him in the boat. There we go, baby. Throw that thing to the camera. Oh my goodness. I can't eat. Talk about a fish right here, baby. I got more. You guys want bait? Yeah. They're dead. No, no, that's good. That's okay. Some, some that's pilchards. Nice. Yeah, of course. Don't mention it. Mine goes now. There you go. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Time to eat. Go to bed. We'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning.
So here we are, we're at day two. We're on the west end of Grand Bahama and it is absolutely gorgeous. From the sunrise to the beach, it is beautiful. I would say I was pretty successful for my first tuna trip, right? Oh yeah, without a doubt, way better than last year. And it's crazy, you know, three days of planning and prep for this trip. Mm -hmm. And then you come to a place like this, I mean, it doesn't get any better. We came here not only to explore the island, but to explore the future of this place, which is Reunion K. And Reunion K is a massive resort and country club development that's on the way. So here we are now at Old Bahama Bay. It's part of the development and it's about to undergo a massive renovation. The first and most iconic piece of the development is gonna be the lighthouse. And the lighthouse is gonna be the tallest functioning lighthouse in the world at 400 feet tall, which is comprised of 102 guest suites, 56 two bedroom villas, and four and five bedroom penthouses with 360 degree views. Currently, there's already one mega yacht marina with a second one on the way. The airstrip is getting completely revamped with plane hangers, with customs and immigration on site. Now for boaters like us, Reunion K is gonna have the first legitimate arena with dry storage in the Bahamas. So just in case you don't wanna cross back and forth in your boat like us, you can fly over, pop your boat in the water with absolutely no worries towards the weather. Extensively, there's going to be seven different five-star resorts and a golf course designed by Arnold Palmer himself. So currently you can purchase a plot of land at a lower price. Not only just as an investment opportunity, but just for a fantastic Bahamas getaway. But one thing I can say is I'm just absolutely itching right now because one of the biggest reasons why we come to the Bahamas is to be on the boat and explore. So we're going to hop on the boat see if we could find a beach to cook up some fresh yellowfin tuna. So here we are. This speaks for itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. From the beach to our little stingray friends, and we got some sharks swimming around, and we've got some fresh yellow tuna. We're about to get tuna, fed too. And we're gonna put it on the grill, make some ahi tuna sandwiches. Tuna sandwiches. You know, it's really cool too. I'm noticing as I'm filleting this tuna, the yellow fin, the meat is so much more transparent yeah. than a black fin. The black fin, it's, it's like a darker. Yeah, it's like a darker red. Yeah. Look, the stingrays are coming. There's another little critter over there. So we decided to switch up the kitchen, and here we are in the lovely back end of the boat. This, this has been a kitchen before, though. It has In the been. Tortugas. That's right, and you know what's even better? Is Clay's gonna be cooking the food today. <laughs> Pressure's on. Yeah, I love when he cooks, because I get a break, and he's actually not too bad. This is the layout right here. First thing we're gonna do, put on the toast. After the toast, we're gonna do the tuna, then bacon. Basically what we're doing is we're making an ahi tuna sandwich. Between the toast, we obviously got the tuna. We got some, some wasabi, wasabi sauce and some ginger. Some ginger, some mayo, mm -hmm. and then of course the bacon. And it is absolutely delicious. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Is it good? It's actually really good. It's good, I, Dab? He'll be the first critic to say if it's bad. So if he says it's good, you already know it's good. Tell us what you think, Zach. You. <laughs> that's right. He says that's a fresh taste of the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're planning a trip out like this, it can be really difficult but the fact that absolutely everything just came together perfectly. And then here we are sitting on this beach, which is crazy. Yeah, and we're really extremely grateful to have you guys continue watching us and continue to support us. But until next week, we'll see you guys right back here on Life by the Bow.